Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! We are back with Walking Dead Michonne on the PS4. And last episode, we had a bit of a chat with um, that girl with the blonde hair. I've completely forgotten her name for some reason. We had a lot of hallucinating with Michonne. But Randall invaded our little house and he shot John, which is Samantha and Greg's dad. So uh, yeah, we managed to kill his goons and we've now taken... We've now taken Randall hostage. We've got him locked into a vice by his fingers. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty delicious, actually. But let's get on with it. Let's get straight into it. Oh! Okay, so he just dislocated our shoulder. I thought he broke our arm completely. Yeah, I'm going to need this. I'm going to take off his balls. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off his balls. Oh, shit. <laughs> you must be pretty proud of yourself, huh? I proud fucking am. yourself out. a golden goose. You think I'm shitting any eggs? Forget it. Oh, yes. Yeah, go on. Oh! You're never good at shoot another person. Whoa! You don't mess around. <laughs> I like that. Does Norma know we're here? She doesn't even know I'm here. Otherwise, you'd be hearing a neighborly knock on your door right about now. Randall? <laughs> Randall, are you getting this? Shit. Uh, Want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Talk to her, Michonne. Don't make the same mistake again. Where the hell are you? I shall make Randall yeah. answer. Randall! You heard her. Randall needs to check in. You know, this feels mighty familiar. Except you're there, and I'm here. So, Miss Shum, what do you want me to say to her? On account of me hoping to avoid more broken fingers, your wish is my command. Don't say anything stupid, because the other two are a bit suspicious. Yeah, no days to be over so soon. Say something stupid, and you'll regret it. You sound just like my daddy. He's a mean son of a bitch. His belt was even meaner. So I learned not to cross his path twice. I play along. Hey, Norma. Randall, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I thought something had happened. Where the hell have you been? Lost. Yeah, I just uh, got turned around in the trees until we found a trail. Hey! <laughs> no, I you ain't. Again. I was doing what you said, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't saying shit, mate. You said enough. Until we found a trial when it led us to a house. Really? I know your game. I lost you. What, what were you saying? Alright then. We'll check in on you soon. You ping me if you find her. Oh, okay, look, it sounds like she took the bait actually. We might be alright. No more knows something's wrong soon enough. And if I can find you, she'll find you. You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench. And break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. Oh, I guess she's breaking at least. Those kitties, too. Fucking arse, awesome, aren't they? I saw their little heads in the window. She's hallucinating her kids again, isn't she? Kids. You know, their skulls don't break so much as. Kinda melt like a rotted pumpkin. Oh, you like that, Randall? You fuck. Guess 
I hit a button. And I'll hit your head. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Oh, let me fucking kill him. Let me kill him. Let me kill oh. There was nothing I could do, Sam. No! 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 James! If he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Michonne's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. He keeps opening his mouth. He'll be dead soon. We should do it right fucking now! All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. You need to kill him, or I will. Oh, I want to kill him. Sam, wait! No matter what I say, you're just going to do whatever you want anyway. I know you've already made up your mind. Fucking hell, Pete. Come on. He deserves it. Well, <laughs> I ain't I had the bell of the bar. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, <laughs> you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know. How this is gonna end, Michonne? You like killing, and you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? I'd Just love to kill you. Tell the truth. I got thick skin. You're right about that. <laughs> Feels good to get that out in the open, don't it? You're a prick. Anyone would want to kill you with a maybe, brain. Maybe you think you can rise above all. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. Kind of agree with you that. You know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. Now that is some biblical shit, ain't it? There's still a chance we can make things better. Don't tell me you still believe that lie, Michelle. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. <gasps> or dying in, or are in that fucking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about that. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't. Oh. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us, wondering what kind of a mother brings a child into this mess of the world. Do I drop the wrench or do I kill him? For them I'm, I'm going to have to kill him. I've got to fucking kill him. It's probably a bad idea. Oh! What a kill shot! All oh, right in the sky. Oh, even Telltale zoomed in on the damage. Even they know that they're sick. <laughs> oh, I fucked up, and I, I fucked up completely. I got no one to bargain now. Nah. I got no one to put on the radio. Oh no! I let the rage. I let the rage win. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean. Nasty. You want to believe all lives and all deaths have purpose. Believe me, they don't. 
It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down. Oh. Did you keep Pete with you or let him go off on his own? 82% of people stopped Pete. Did you pick up the phone and go after, or go after the footsteps in the hallway? 73% of people picked up the phone. I wasn't sure what to do on that bit because I wanted to go after the stranger just in case it was the kids, but you know. Did you reveal to Paige that you nearly committed suicide? You and 30% of players disclosed your darkest moment. I thought more people would have admitted actually. How did you handle the radio call from Norma? You and 59% of players chose to make Randall speak to her. It is the best way to do it though, as long as you trust he ain't going to say anything stupid. What, what did you do to Randall? You and 52.6% of players bashed Randall's head in. It's the only thing, you, you've got to do it, ain't you? You have to do it, because Randall is a complete fucking prick. More people killed him than didn't though, so yeah. I reckon we made a bad choice, Wolf or Vats. I get the feeling we've made the wrong choice. Because we can't put him on the radio no more and we, we can't use him to bargain now. We don't really need to bargain with him, but in case we do, we haven't got Randall now, so I might have let my rage win. But yeah, uh, this video is going to be a bit shorter than usual because I thought I had a bit more to do before it was going to uh, start Season 3. So I'm going to end the video for today. It'll be a bit shorter and we'll be back next time. So thanks for watching, Wolf Roberts. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully uh, you liked the look of uh, Randall's brain that is now smeared all over the floor. <laughs> Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!